Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and once again I'm coming to you with another unboxing video. And this unboxing video is on a really cool firearm. Yeah, I know I say that in all of my unboxing videos, which by the way, I think this is the second one this week. But this video is about a Kalishnikov USA KP9. This is the pistol version, which yes, I will SBR. I've already filled out the Form 1 and I've already sent it off for this particular gun, which essentially is a semi-automatic pistol caliber carbine version of an AK-47. And it's supposed to be a pretty authentic copy of the Russian Vichjaz. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So it's an AK-47 pattern firearm, but it's a pistol caliber, originally a submachine gun, but here as a semi-auto gun, it is a pistol caliber carbine. So let me adjust the camera. I'll open this and talk about why it fascinates me so much. All right, so here's the box that it comes in and it's kind of a big box. Obviously it's a one size fit all box for both their rifles and their pistols. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. And I was glad I finally saw one of these at one of my local gun stores. They had a few in stock, got to handle it. So what we have here, of course, is the pistol. It does come with only one magazine. These aren't too expensive. You can buy them directly from Kalishnikov, but a few other retailers do sell them like Brownells. You have an owner's manual and a lock. And I believe there's some stickers in there, so you got a little swag. I'll probably put that on the safe. You got a Kalishnikov USA kind of brochure, probably showing off more of their products. A safety flag for the chamber. You have a little button here which goes over the charging handle. That's just to make sure that charging handle doesn't dig into the foam. And you get an envelope here with something really cool in it that I think is kind of neat, is you get a patch. And it says here, from Kalishnikov USA, thank you for your purchase of the Kalishnikov USA KP9 or KR9 firearm. As you most likely know, this gun is the most complete and correct replication of the Russian Vitsjaz you can buy. And once again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. We realize you had many choices in your search for a 9mm PCC. You ended up in an elite club of shooters who wanted original Russian design, famed reliability, undeniable classic looks, and a made in the USA product. As a little thank you, please accept the enclosed sleeve patch of the commando unit, Vitsjaz. Welcome to the club. And it's signed by Jonathan Mossberg, the chief executive officer of Kalishnikov USA. And it says, P.S. The patch is made in the USA, of course. And then says, go check out their website for other accessories and information on their firearms. That's kind of cool to have and to have that little patch. That is neat. So I will find a place in my collection for that. And here, of course, is the pistol. So let me close the box here. And let's take a look at this pistol on the table. So this is a pretty high quality pistol caliber carbine. So it utilizes an AK-47 style receiver. As a pistol, it does not have a stock or a brace. And I bought the version without the brace because I've already filled out the ATF Form 1 to turn this thing into a proper SBR. Now, this is supposed to be a pretty darn close copy of the Russian submachine gun. And one of the things I really like about some companies is you take a design and you run with it and you change it to fit all applications. And Benelli did this with their shotguns. Of course, you know, they have the famed inertia system for their shotguns and they tried to develop that into a pistol. Then you have companies that will take the AR-15 and there's a 12 gauge shotgun version of the AR and there's a pistol caliber carbine version of the AR submachine gun version. Well, the Russians took their AK-47 and of course they have a sniper rifle version, they have the Sega 12, the shotgun version, and now they have a pistol version. And this is a all made in the USA product so you don't have to worry about 922R compliance. And this is my first Kalishnikov USA product. It really does seem to be well made, well manufactured. The rivets look really, really nice. They're on that receiver nice and tight. It uses what appears to be pretty standard AK-47 or AKM furniture here. It has a nice copy of the original style of the Russian pistol grips. And it has all the things on it that if you do order the stock 
after you SBR it. It will already have the push button so the stock will close. It has the hold open area here where the stock will go over. And I believe all you have to do is punch out a pin and this rear plate simply comes out. The top cover of this is hinged just like the original submachine gun. And of course it has that kind of famed Kalishnikov reliability. Now this does not use a rotating bolt like an AK-47. It is simply direct blowback. And so the bolt does have a piston which goes up into the gas tube, but this gas block is non-functioning. The barrel is threaded one half by 28 and it uses uh, a typical kind of AK-47 detent to hold on that. So you can run suppressors on this if you'd like. And the magazine, I believe, is 30 rounds. And there's a little block here at the bottom which will, of course, allow a 9mm magazine to fit into a rifle-style receiver. This is really nice. And just holding it, taking a look at it, it's finished nice, has a nice painted finish. Kalishnikov USA, I believe, has a pretty good reputation so far for making these AKs here in the United States. And I think this is gonna be a great gun for my collection. As you guys know, I love PCCs, pistol caliber carbines. So it definitely kind of fits the philosophy of my collection. And it's really neat to have an AK-47 9mm gun. Not a lot of people can say that they do. So the manual of arms is the same as most AKs. It has the same type of safety. You can take off the gas block the same way. The furniture comes off the same way. The magazine is released with a paddle, just like the original. And so some of my detractors can say that I don't like AKs, and that's very, very far from the truth. I can really appreciate a very fine firearm like this. So this is gonna be an SBR project. I've already filled out the paperwork, as I mentioned, and I cannot wait to be able to put on that triangle stock that will come right from Kalishnikov USA. So what a cool gun. I'm gonna get this thing apart. I'm gonna clean everything, put it in the safe, and just wait for the ATF to give me approval. So there you go, my unboxing of the Kalishnikov USA KP9 pistol. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Are you guys AK fans? I'd love to know your thoughts. And is this a gun you guys have been wanting? All right, so let me know in the comment section below. And as always, Thanks for watching.